You've decided to play a duet with your friend, but when you put it together, it just doesn't sound right. What can you do to make it better? In this video, we'll give you four helpful hints to take your ensemble playing to the next level. Hi, I'm Staff Sergeant Dane Clark. And I'm Staff Sergeant Jason Russo. And welcome to the Virtual Music Classroom, presented by the United States Army Field Band. We connect and inspire people throughout the country and around the world, and we're here to give you the tools you need to play your best, share your passion, and change lives. Let's get started. This duet is marked Andante. Well, what does that mean? Andante is a moderately slow tempo, like a relaxed walk. This helps us determine a good metronome marking. Be sure to look for tempo markings throughout the music. The composer put them there for a reason. Try the second clarinet part as Staff Sergeant Russo plays the first clarinet part, keeping a steady andante tempo. You'll get two beats of rest, and Staff Sergeant Russo will cue you in. One, two. When you play with another person, it's important to think about being in tune with each other, or intonation. To start, look for intervals and chords in the music. For example, in a major chord, the third of the chord should be played a bit on the low side. And when playing octaves, the lower octave should be played louder than the higher one. As you practice this duet, look for these intervals and get the sound in your ear. One, two. As you practice this duet, think about the phrasing. In this piece, most phrases are four bars long, except in the middle before the opening phrase returns. Look for destination points to bring out in the music. For example, where is the high point in this music? Let's decide on note length, meaning how long or short to play notes that are unmarked. Remember that andante tempo marking? It gives us a clue that most of the notes will have a longer length in this piece unless they are specifically marked with a staccato or slur. We can also look at the first clarinet part. Since the first part has the melody, the second accompanying part should reflect the first part's note lengths and phrasing. We've chosen a tempo, practice our intonation, 
highlighted our phrasing and destination points, and decided on note length. Let's put it all together. Thanks for playing with us. Make sure to check out our other clarinet videos. See you next time.